All right, so let's jump into this real quick, shall we? First, I'm going to move myself here. I want to show you this. So this is the tiling. You all know this. If you've ever used Pop OS, you can basically do this. Turn this on, go to tiled, and uh, you open up a window. It's tiled. You can also make it so uh, it's floating. So in other words, you grab it. You can do whatever you want with it. But if it's tiled, again, you can still do whatever you want with it. I'm not sure what the real difference is here, but uh, is there any? Eh, take that, floaty. And that, the tiling system is actually really good. And uh, you can see there's navigation for windows, moving windows, and so on. You can also turn on the activation hint if you want to. Not a fan of it. All right, I'm going to turn this off for the rest of the video. Actually, I'm not. I realize that this is actually going to come in handy. So this is the Cosmic Store. Pretty simply, this is a replacement for the Pop Store, the Pop OS Store, which is really slow and outdated and just, it wasn't quick at all. And if we go through here, there's just tons of different categories and things that you can go over and it's really cool. Also, if you're on official Pop OS, this is where you'll be checking for updates. If we head into here, this is their terminal. As you can see, I'm on Cache OS at the moment. And the terminal is pretty straightforward. There's not much here. There's color schemes and light and dark mode. You can import other people's themes if you wanted to. Uh, if you go to edit, there's not much there. There's different profiles, of course. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work. Terminal be damned. It's pretty lightweight and it works really well. This is their text editor. All of this was written from scratch using pre-existing libraries, so technically not fully from scratch, but it still is a new product, which is always really, really good. As you can see, you can enable your Vim bindings, and for those three Vim users out there, it's a joke by the way, they can use skin. You can match your desktop, go dark mode, syntax, you can do whatever you want, 1337, cosmic dark, uh, dark neon, whoa, that's really dark, I like that. And uh, you can pretty much just customize this to hell and back, including a Nord theme, which is always great. And dark it, like, can we type with this open? We can't. Yeah, it's not a bad little editor. I do like it, except I wish when you're saving things that it showed down here that you were saving. This is their file manager. It is bare bones as you can possibly get. There's a search up here. Uh, if you go to view, you have zoom in, default size, zoom out, grid view, list view, show hidden fold files. Look, if you're going to enable show hidden files, when you close it, expect it to needing to be enabled again. For those people who do not live in the shadows like me, it's kind of annoying. Now, if we go into settings, we are able to actually, hopefully, permanently enable it in the settings, which we are good. And I want to go back into the settings and show you. There's a theme again. Uh, we can do list view or we can do grid view. You can do icon size, which doesn't actually seem to work. And there's the grid one. Okay, so this does actually work, but it's just... All right, that makes sense. Sort by name, size, or modified. So I want to sort by size and ascending or descending and so on. Not much there. Doesn't need to be. You got a history button. And, you know, just the standard stuff. It's kind of nice that it shows when drives are actually mounted. GNOME. Learn from that, please. Because in GNOME 47, they're removing other location. And that's a problem. All right. So this is your way to open up applications. As you can see, you can add a group. And it shows everything that's currently installed. Pretty simple, straightforward. You're probably used to this on Pop OS by now if you use that. This is your workspaces. Unfortunately, it doesn't look as good as GNOME's, uh, and if you do horizontal, it just puts it up here. I honestly wish it was a lot bigger than this. This looks cool, but it's also a little bit outdated when compared to other, you know, desktop environments that do the whole full screen switching thing, which is what people seem to enjoy most of all. And this is just showing your current open applications, and I believe you're able to search for apps in here as well. So that is the pre-installed apps that come on your dock. Not bad at all. You're able to disable these three buttons if you need to into settings, which we're about to jump into right now. So in your settings, if we go into display, as you can see, it's not currently working. I don't know why. Can I like... Uh, one second. 
can we just like make this work? Small, big. No, it doesn't want to work. All right. Go into wallpaper. I'm going to add an image. Sometimes if you have images, it will load it. It'll be pretty slow, but uh, it doesn't seem to be wanting to let me add an image, which is a problem. Oh, no, man. Open new folder. Let's try that. Nope. All right. Closing that out. Opening it back up. Opening it back up. Now this is alpha level behavior. The gaming was just a regression. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to mention that, but cosmic settings. <sighs> so this is an issue that I've had before. This is nothing new. Home, not root, cargo, blah, 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 blah. In other words, ah, things are kind of broken. So I'm going to just try sudo pacman s and cosmic settings. See if I can probably get it replaced. I'm not even sure if sudo works or not. We're going to put me back up here. Okay. No. All right, let's open up the actual terminal. See if I can get this replaced. Because this is a very important part of the video. No, it just does not want to replace at all. It seems to be an issue in the source code itself on line 35 on main which is a problem. Now this does happen on the official Pop! OS image and everywhere else, which is a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. And we're gonna go searching for a way to solve this problem, which I don't really know if we can. Let's go open system monitor. Applets, applets, times, watchers, panels, settings, settings, settings. Okay, so what we're gonna do so I'm going to kill all this, not you, kill all this, and, and kill you, or try to open it up again. There we go. Now the everything is loaded properly. All right, that's just what we want. So I'm going to add an image, and again, you can choose from your many, many, many uh, wallpapers. If you have many wallpapers, I'm going to add my Cortana one, and there we go done now if we go to desktop you'll notice that again there's an appearance settings light dark and round it slightly round it square you want to change your icons you could do so in here so if i want numic circle i can change it to numic circle now if i wanted to change the theme of the no maps the built-in ones i can do so by clicking this button but i don't really want to go over the theming of this uh, it's pretty straightforward uh I'm going to do the best I can here real quick to just, no, it's too dark, right about there. That looks fine for me. And the accent color, um, going Joker style. It works. All right. So there you go. Again, you have container background auto, do whatever you want here. Then you can export it, send it to a friend in case they want to run it. Panel's pretty straightforward. There is a tweaks tool that you can grab. I believe it's yay cosmic tweak. Yeah, it's right there. So what this tool allows you to do is adjust the rounding of the dock and everything else. And I'm gonna grab this real quick and we're gonna be right back in just one second. All right, so jumping back into this now that that's finished, uh, we can go find gnome tweet or cosmic tweet tweaks. Co let's just type tweaks. There it is, tweaks for cosmic, and we can close. Well, I'm going to put this on the other monitor right now. So the dock is rounded uh, better now that I've installed this because it sets the padding to zero. Uh, the padding, eh? See. And then there's spacing, 
which is nice. I wish they would add the ability to, of course, uh, deal with that a little bit better. But if we go out here, I want to show you something. Dock. And if we do cap between. The rounding on the edge is a bit too much. They should be 25. And that's the problem. So how do we do this? Um, I want to show you because it's going to require to edit config files, which means we need to go into home and we need to go into dot config. All right. And go into the cosmic folder, find the dock, which will be labeled right here. Panel dot dock and into V1. Um, go to where is it? Is it border radius? I think it is and open width. Yeah, as you can see, that's a tad too big. Set that to 25 and hit save. And as you can see, so the dock is now perfectly well, it's rounded better instead of being overly rounded. I don't know why it was 160, but it's kind of crazy. We go here again, padding, no padding, again, spacing or no spacing. You can even disable the panel and just have a dock if you want to. Uh, it's completely up to you, of course. Not my thing, though. And we can configure the applets. And, of course, there's very little applets on the dock, but I don't like this. And I don't like this. I prefer it just to be a pretty clean dock with the apps there, but I already have an application thing up here. So, once again, we can get rid of that. Now... We're going to go back and we're going to go into panel and it's right there. Again, you can automatically hide the panel. I'm going to show this on DP3, which means it removes it from my other, uh, you know, monitors. And same with this because you don't need to be rendering so much at once. So it kind of just lowers everything. Now you can choose to have this floating, which is nice. I don't know what the, you know, border radius on this is but it doesn't look very clean at all the rounding, uh, which is unfortunate. But again, we can go in here and we can configure stuff. So if I want the start workstation button to be here where it should honestly be, or just to delete this at all, uh, we can add an applet and put that button back. I don't like it like that. I would rather have it numbered. So there's numbered workspaces. So if we did that, that looks a lot better than the other one so we can get rid of this one now i like that that looks very clean but it's in the wrong place i would prefer mine to be centered and of course bring that down here and put that right there so now this is what i would go for this is what honestly would look best as default because that way you know what spaces you're on and how many workspaces there are so again applet system just like gnome 2 back in the day and just like xfce now uh moving on windows management's pretty clear show minimize and stuff and there's the open you know you can choose open applications like that that's what i would normally set it as mm, displays are working finally look at that so i have an issue with my monitor and again i'm going to tell you the bugs i don't care if it's off or not you deserve to know what you're getting into with my display, I cannot set it to 165 by default. I have to go in and edit a config file. This is annoying. It really is. I reported this seven months ago. I got one response and nobody else bothered to try to fix it or help me out with it. I guess they just thought it was not really something worth fixing. I've seen multiple reports of other people having this issue. So it should be a priority, hopefully for alpha too. All right, so if we go to power and battery, you can see extend battery life, balance, and high performance. Test this on my laptop. Extend battery doesn't really do much. Balance doesn't do much, but performance sets, well, the performance indicator in your Linux OS or your Linux uh, OS, yeah, so that you can have the best performance possible. Input device is pretty bare minimum. Change your input source. You can add another one alternative characters key, compose, compose key, uh, view and customize shortcuts and delay and repeat. 
we had out here, you can see that in the mouse, stupid fly go away. I'm trying to do stuff. I will come after you if you bug me again, and you will not know like what happens. Hmm. You get to control your mouse and your touchpad. If you have a touchpad, I think touchpad should hopefully be showing up here. There's mouse acceleration and mouse speed should be at 50. You could switch your primary buttons and so on. It's basic stuff. Not bad. Time uh, and language. Automatically. Halifax, you know, 24 time. Not 24 time. And first day of the week, Sunday. You know, you can set that to whatever you want. I don't... I consider the first day of the week to be Monday. Isn't it? Yeah. That's a weird setting. But again, regions and language is empty. System accounts, so you get to have nothing. And in the Aboot section, you actually get to uh, see Cache OS, Cosmic, Wayland, and all the total amount of stuff here. My disk capacity is actually 22 terabytes, but I have a couple of drives currently unplugged. Anyway, that's everything for settings, and if you have a laptop GPU, you will of course see uh, another icon in here that allows you to switch between integrated and your direct GPU in case you don't have a MUX switch. And that's pretty much all there is. There's your notifications, your Wi-Fi will pop up here uh, in place of this if you're using Wi-Fi. And as you can see, there it is right there. I currently have it enabled. It does support Wi-Fi 6E and 7, so we're good on that. Already showed you that. And of course, you have your keyboard language settings here. Okay, simple as that. Uh, it's pretty straightforward forward desktop environment. And I wanna show you one really cool thing that I like about it. And it's this. Let's see if I can get it done. I probably have to turn this on. Okay, tiling's good, right? But uh, stack windows is even cooler. Can we get this to stack again? Yeah, stack windows. Look at that. I like this. This was surprising to me. And I found this out after I did my original initial video. But this is so freaking cool. Because you can stack almost anything in here. And it's absolutely wonderful. Like if I wanted to, I could stack the store in here. And now when you open up any app, it automatically just stacks in here. I love this. Stacking windows rules. I like it. It just, it just makes sense. You know, it does. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you used it already, let me know in the comments below how you found it. Don't forget to check with the Linux Guides playlist if you're new to Linux and you want to jump in. There's also that. Bye, everybody. It's not perfect but it's usable for daily tasks. Cosmic DE. I wonder when Alpha 2 is. Hmm.